why this is important right now. Um, one, we got people coming after our customers right now because of all the changes. Churn is up. And I'm seeing it because our 270 companies in peer, I see when their sales numbers are up. And almost every deal comes from another MSP. But the second thing related to security, Andrew, it's the same process. We got to go out and have our customers spend 30, 40, 50, 80, 100 dollars a seat more than they used to. It's the same thing. It has to be a process. So there's a lot at stake right now. But the first question I wanted to ask John, mm-hmm. putting like we see MSPs and how um, they they struggle with adding new recurring revenue. A lot of them. Is it the same in all industries? Because you deal with other industries. Mm-hmm. Is that just an entrepreneurial thing, not just MSP? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hate, I would love to say that uh, MSPs are special. They're not when it comes to selling. Uh, I'm like every, and by the way, every client I talk to thinks they're special and they're not. They all have the same fundamental challenges of pipeline, close ratios, deal, velocity. What I mean, literally, you name it, and I could take it and take it from every single industry. Um, CISO, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, th- look, there's certain things that work in certain industries and other industries a little bit better. But in general, we all have the same challenge. The, the challenge that I see with MSPs mostly, and I even wrote a post on this a while back, is <clears throat> I call it the founder's dilemma. And it's, and it's this idea that when an engineer specifically starts a business, they usually have really high enthusiasm about that business, right? And I've always said that sales is the transfer of enthusiasm. If you believe in what you're selling, then sales, I'm not, I don't want to say it's easy, but man, is it easier, right? So what happens is a founder is all excited to, find, to start their business. So who do they go talk to? They go talk to friends, families, and fools, right? They're, they're inner circle effectively about this idea that want to do. And all of a sudden, they're going to get really good feedback from that group. And they, and they might have a few people even buy some of their stuff, right? And so then it's like, oh, great. Well, sales, cool. Let's hire a VP of sales. Go. And it ends up being a disaster because A, the VP of sales does not have the background on the business. They don't have the technical knowledge. They don't have the passion. They don't have their own process. And, and a lot of engineers look at sales as a necessary evil. And I will tell you right now, if you look at sales as a necessary evil, you will fail. 